If there's anything these two incidents have shown us, they've shown us that it's not out of the question for a police officer's gun holster to be compromised during a struggle. So what's being done to address security? We spoke with Metro about it, and we also spoke with a gun holster expert about what kind of safety features are out there on the market. Chilling moments caught on camera show just how dangerous a situation can be if an officer's gun gets into the wrong hands. Here's the moment from this weekend when a handcuffed suspect at Allegiant Stadium grabbed an officer's gun and managed to pull the trigger while the gun was still in the holster, striking another officer in the leg. A second officer was injured by bullet fragments to his ankle. Both officers sent to the hospital but are expected to recover. You might recall a similar situation happened just two months ago when Terrell Rhodes, the man police accuse of killing two-year-old Amari Nicholson, grabbed an officer's gun and actually removed it from the holster. Thankfully, he wasn't able to fire it, but the situation was dangerous for all involved. So we checked in with Metro about their security requirements. Turns out there's no one type of holster or firearm for that matter that Metro officers must use. They told us officers are in charge of purchasing their own firearm and holster from a third party vendor. The third party can be a brick and mortar retail location or online. He added that officers have to go through a qualifying process in order to carry their weapon each quarter. But the only qualifier he mentioned for a holster is that it fits their gun. In the Allegiant situation, officers said it was a duty holster. We spoke with a local distributor of holsters on what that means. A duty holster is typically uh, the same thing as a level three holster. And that means it takes three motions to remove the gun from the holster. He says there are many types of holsters on the market, including these SciTac holsters that he sells online and in stores like Nevada Tactical that wouldn't allow a suspect to fire a gun while it's in its holster. The trigger's covered on this one, and um, it would be difficult to stick your finger down in there and, and pull the trigger uh, with this type of holster, or this one as well. You know, you could, you could see here. We will continue looking into this for you. Now, Assistant Sheriff Laz Chavez told us that they're going to continue looking into different types of holsters and decide whether or not they need to continue, discontinue rather, the use of some types of holsters. Coming up in our 5 o'clock newscast, I'll sh share more on what I learned about different price levels and security measures for different holsters that are out there on the market. Reporting live at Metro headquarters, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.